Hi guys, um, this is the uh, Asus uh, H61M-G, I uh, just got a film back yesterday, uh, I got it recorded upstairs on Sunday, and uh, if you saw the other video, uh, you'll know that this doesn't actually boot up, yeah? Um, so let's have a quick look at it and, and see uh, what's going on. I mean, when I say it doesn't boot up, it does start, but we don't get any... Um, you know, any beeps or what we know, RAM and it doesn't bleep, it doesn't seem to do anything, yeah. Uh, so it seems to stop, it doesn't seem to boot. Um, so I think the first thing we'll have a quick look uh, is to see if we actually have uh, vCore, yeah. Uh, I checked the short circuits yesterday, so I know there's no short circuits on the, on the 12 volts. Uh, but we, we can do it again from the start, so uh, this is the, uh, the 12 volts input here, yeah. And we can see a high resistance here. Yeah, it's just a capacitor charging and just sort of charge up there. So there's no short circuit there. Uh, so the next thing we want to be doing is checking the vehicle. Now I can see there's two FETs here, and two FETs here, yeah. Um, so one of the FETs will be connecting to the 12 volts. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So the other end of this FET will go to the tab on this FET, yeah, effectively. And this is where we can check the vehicle either either here or here. So we'll, we'll check it here. Maybe it'll be right polarity. So let's uh, stick this into ground. Uh, and let's go on here, yeah. And we'll uh, set the voltage maybe. And we'll power it on and we'll see if we actually have any vehicle to process it. So let's have a look at what we get. So it comes on and goes off. I know it looks like then it comes back on again and keeps running the second time. And yeah, we've got vehicle. I mean, the process is not getting raw, but we haven't yet. Oh, and now it's bleeping. What the hell? It wouldn't do that yesterday. Why did it start bleeping today? Just a sort of device chip on the fucking down here. Let's put the uh, heat sink fan back on there, yeah. Power's on, power's off, yeah. Power's back on. Mm. Well, that seems to have uh, magically uh, fixed it. I was going to put the post analyzer on. Um, by the way, on these uh, Asus motherboards, you need to put it onto the TPM or LPC, yeah. And I will just stick this on here. And it doesn't seem to matter which way round it goes. It just seems to do it anyway. Let's just uh, have a quick look anyway, because we should see this boot up now on the post analyzer. Although I have no idea. I mean, wh why it was uh, not booting yesterday, it's booting now. I, I, I can't say. It's like I've scared it into working, you know. But this, this sort of like happens. To, it seems to happen to me sometimes. You know, things don't work just because I even touch them. They start to work. I've never really understood uh, <laughs> the reasoning behind that. Okay, let's just get the camera stable. Okay, so this is the uh, post analyzer card. We know this is bleeping now, so this is a good sign. So let's switch it on, let's boot it up. Yeah, because it kind of powers up and goes off. Goes to 22. No, it isn't bleeping. It's interesting. The only thing I've done with this is yesterday I actually put the post analyzer card on to see what uh, number I was getting before I started uh, recording the video. Um, I think that was. Whatever's wrong with this appears to be intermittent. No, it's not bleeping again. That's interesting, isn't it? That's interesting, because um, I seem to have an intermittent problem, haven't it? Uh, I noticed, I mean, there was dust in the CPU socket. I don't, don't know whether um, the power's off, whether 
if you you know effectively it wasn't sitting properly maybe just peeling in a little bit of goo off it mm. I mean there's no bent pins in this it's just a bit <laughs> grubby and sort of like blowy you know you just got on It's not getting very hot on these at the moment, so I hope mine's just carried up without the heat sink. Uh, let's just see. I'll just push it on on the TPU. Power on, goes off. Fan powers on again. Made a little t -t -t noise and went off. So I think I might just have a dirty CPU socket on this. How best to clean this? Uh, let's do wheels. I think the best thing we can do with this, because the door's generally in a bit of a grubby state, yeah, is uh, go put it in the sink. I'm going to go put this in the sink, yeah. Give it a good wash with a bit of uh, soap and water, basically, and then let it dry out properly. And let's see whether or not that actually uh, effectively makes it work reliably. Obviously, we see it can work, so I'm pretty certain that th this is, you know, it's either an intermittent connection somewhere, which is likely to be the CPU problem. Uh, I don't think it's a RAM because I've got no RAM in there, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to give this a clean and then uh, let's dry it out and let's see if we can persuade it to work. Okay, so it's, um, <laughs> where's my uh, headset? <laughs> Yeah, I thought there was something missing there, yeah. So I've had it in the sink, it's it's wet now, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's, it's well wet. Um, so the technique with this, basically, is is to get the the board, yeah, let me just put the camera, I'm going to point it away from the desk, is to get the board and literally do this with it, yeah. So, <laughs> which way do I have to put the camera? <laughs> More that way. Okay, so. Yeah, do this with it. Both ways up, yeah. This will shake uh, most of the water out of it. Um, normally now I would take uh, a fan, yeah. So I've got like a fan that I use. Um, this one. Oops. Something falling off. <laughs> Captain Chaos today, guys. It's Captain. It's Captain Chaos today. <laughs> Stuff falling everywhere. Okay, so yeah, I, I take a, a fan like this one, yeah, and just plug it in, 12 volt power pack, and just dry the board. Uh, but I've got to around to get a, get a vaccination. One of my vaccination COVID today, so uh, I'm going to go down to uh, get the jab and. Um, I'm going to put this in the van because uh, it's about 35 degrees today uh, out. So if I, if I take this and leave it in the van while I go get my jab, uh, it's going to be over 40 degrees in the van with the window shut. So um, that won't take long to uh, basically um, dry this out. So by the time I've been jabbed and I'm back here, probably you know within an hour, I'm hoping this to be dry. Now let's give it a go. Well, see you guys soon. Okay guys, so uh, you can see this is now looking uh, much cleaner, yeah, so basically I had it in the sink as I said, um, I then uh, had to go to the vaccination centre so I stuck it in the van, it was like 34 degrees or something yesterday outdoors, like in the van, <laughs> when I left it parked you know, in the sun, it was over 40 degrees probably with the window shut, so it should have given this a good drying, but I decided then when I came back, uh, it was getting on in the day, came back to the workshop, so I just left it on one side, so it's been sitting uh, on one side overnight, uh, I've now put the CMOS battery back on, um, processor's in there, um, we can just have a quick look, we should still have uh, you know, a few micro amps being drawn off the uh, CMOS, and this shouldn't have changed any, I think it was four micro amps or something, 
Um, let's have a look what we got on here now. Well, that's interesting because something has changed here. This looks now like the. Is the CMOS battery any good? This one I've put on here. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Was that me just using the wrong leads? <laughs> I mean, you know, the red and black, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Okay, so, uh, yeah, 4.3, that's still the same, so the uh, real-time clock appears to be running the same. Uh, this is my uh, post-analyzer card. Uh, these have PCIe, yeah, so you'd think, well, we could just stick it in the PCIe slot. Uh, but unfortunately, on PCIe, most motherboards don't actually give any... Uh, information on there to the analyzer only gigabyte i believe actually these cards will actually work in the the pcie on the rest we have to either use a tpm connector or in this case the L lpc which is a small connector down here um it says lpc debug next to it actually um can you see that let me just show you okay so this is the lpc debug connector i can just yeah you can probably see under there like lp lpc debug yeah um, this has an LPC connector on here. Uh, in my experience, it doesn't seem to matter which way you connect this. I mean, you can see there's more holes on here than there are pins on this. Um, but it seems to me that, you know, you, you just stick it on there. Uh, if it's on wrong, it won't give any code, basically. But it doesn't actually seem to do any harm. At least not on other motherboards where I've, you know, I had to take a guess, basically. Okay, so we have that on there. So let's... Um, zoom back out a little bit let's get the camera so you can see the debug card and then let's fire this up and see what it does okay so you can see the see the debug card here yeah uh, the display on this uh, we have uh, an on off switch we have a bleeper no ram obviously so we're looking for bleeps on this um, we'll put the cooling fan just bounce it on the processor there um, power on let's see what it does same as before by the looks of it. it counts to 27 shuts down fires back up and goes to 22 with no bleeps but i have had this uh, bleeping if you watched uh, a little bit earlier on the video it seems to be something like intermittent um let me see i'm going to try uh, also with some ram in there let's actually put a bit of ram on the board and see what it, what it wants to do now So this is just a bit of uh, RAM, I'm just trying to find, I mean you have different speeds on this, yeah, that's all 8500, I'm not sure what this thing actually really wants, um, this one appears to be uh, a faster one, uh, I'll stick that on this, I think this is one we know is a 4 gig and we know it works, yeah, so we'll just put um, RAM on a single channel first and let's see what it makes of that. Yeah, let's give that a go and see what it wants to do. Same sort of thing, kind of fires up, switches off, goes to a different code with the RAM. Oh, that's interesting. It still doesn't bleep. Has it booted up? One moment, let me just connect the monitor to it. No, it, it, it doesn't boot. So it's all shut down. Yeah, it shuts down by pressing the button. Let's, let's go again. Ah, oh, I have a picture. We have a picture, yeah. So there we go. It does say it's four gig of RAM. I thought that was a four gig stick. Okay, what we'll do is with this is we'll put uh, some RAM into both channels, yeah, and we'll then see if we can actually uh, load Windows on it. It's a bit strange. This doesn't bleep. There's nothing wrong. With... I know there's nothing wrong with my bleeper because <laughs> basically yesterday I had this thing bleeping, yeah. 
and this is definitely on the speaker connector it says speaker all right it's very interesting it doesn't actually make a bleep okay let's stick uh, double channel uh, ram in now let's see if we can get this thing to actually boot into windows okay so i've put my uh, known good uh, hard drive on with uh, windows 10. Uh, all the drivers are loaded this time because previously we had one of these boards uh, a week or two ago so i loaded the drivers to test that one so that was pretty quick um you can see on here oops just get all of this so you can actually uh, see what we have yeah so you can see this is specky running on here um it's the uh i3 2120 that's my test cpu 8 gig of ram which is what i've got on there intel h sorry aztec asus asus tech h61 mg so that's the motherboard uh, onboard graphics all done yeah so um that's looking good okay so um, it's also uh, bleeps now as well. Uh, it seems like I just had a dodgy contact on, on the buzzer, basically. So I just took it off and stuck it back on again. And if you can hear, now on boot, yeah, see, bleep. So the bleep is working. Um, yeah, so I mean, sometimes, guys, it's as easy as that, you know. Um, what can we say we've learnt from this one? I mean, the first one would be, don't be scared of sticking a motherboard in the sink. Yeah, soap and water when it's grubby like that. Um, obviously, I mean, it was fairly obvious before there was some sort of intermittent contact, and that, that's it. Just soap, water, uh, got it nice and warm. I mean, you could use a hairdryer or something. Uh, rather than my te technique of leaving it in the van, because <laughs> it was like 40-odd degrees centigrade here yesterday in the van. Um yeah, and then leave it overnight, yeah, it'll sort of bounce up on one edge, and it'll dry out, and the next day, uh, better look at work, it's certainly not the, the first time I've had uh, boards that seem to uh, you have a faulty BIOS, or they don't boot properly, or they've acted intermittent, and stick the thing in the sink, you know, and it fix, fixes quite a few uh, problems, to be honest. Okay, guys, uh, short video that one, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you very soon with uh, some more uh, kit, see you now, bye.